Hey there, this is Tyler Garns with Box Out Marketing, and today I've got a doozy for you. You see, sometimes even I screw up and send out an email where I don't have the links tracked the way I'd like. So let's take this newsletter in my inbox, for example. This newsletter has multiple links, and they're links for various different things. Uh, in particular, we've got this link down here for Open Office Fridays. And let's just say I've forgotten before I sent the broadcast, or even if it were in a campaign, I've forgotten to set up that link to apply a tag to people who click it. So I want this to be a one-click registration, and I'm going to use a trigger tag when they click that link to automatically register them for the Open Office Friday webinar. Well, if I have forgotten to apply that tag and I sent out the email already whether through broadcast or through a campaign I'm a little bit in a pickle because now I've got people who clicked on the link who think they're registered and they're not. Well I'm going to show you in this video how to take care of those people and make sure that they all get registered the way you had hoped would happen the first time. So what you're going to do is get into your Infusionsoft account and make sure you have the recent activity widget on your dashboard. If you don't, go ahead and click on add widgets and add the recent activity widget. Scroll down to the bottom of the recent activity widget and click on view all activities for today. That'll bring up a list of all those activities. Go ahead and click on edit criteria columns and choose click the link. This will just help us narrow down the results to only the people who have clicked a link. And then also go ahead and change the date range if necessary. If you just sent the email out today, then you can choose today. If it was in the recent seven days, you can choose last seven days. Or if it's been in the last 30 days, you'll have to do last 30 days. Unfortunately, we can't move beyond those dates. So I'm going to choose last seven days and go ahead and hit OK. Now at this point, once I've got the list here, I need to do a little bit of investigative work to figure out which link is the one I'm looking for. And so I'll click on this first one here to determine if this is the link I'm looking for. It'll open up the automation link and I can see the actual URL here where people are going to. And so if I copy that URL and open up a new tab and paste it in there, I can double check, yes, that's the one I'm using and that's the one that I want to track and I want to tag people for. So if I go ahead and hover over that link You'll see down at the bottom of my screen, I get an ID. The link ID is 39667. I can also see that number if I click on the link and I open it up here and I can see in my browser, at the top of the browser, 39667. Once I know that link ID, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and export this list. So I'll hit export from the actions drop down. All I need here is the contact ID and the description. I don't need anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and process to download this file. Once that file is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open the file. And once I open the file, I'm going to go ahead and select both columns and I'm going to sort by the second column, by the description column. So I can get all the links together. Now you can see in the URLs here the IDs. So I'm looking for the one that we found that has ID 39667. So I'll go ahead and just scroll through this list until I find it here. Okay, so here it is here. Now anything that's not 39667, I'm going to delete. So I can go ahead and select the row above that, go all the way to the top, and delete those rows. And then anything below the 39667 down to the bottom, I can delete all of those rows as well. So now I'm left with only the people who click that link. I don't need this description information anymore. All I really need is just the contact IDs. Now I have the contact IDs. I'm going to save this file again. So I'll save it as a CSV file the same way I downloaded it. I'm going to go back into Infusionsoft and I'm going to click on Data Cleanup under Admin. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on Modify Existing Records. And I'm going to choose Contacts here, click Go. I'm going to browse for the file that I just saved. 
and click Next. And the contact ID in that file I'm going to match up with Infusionsoft's contact ID. Basically what I'm doing is just identifying those people. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Next and here I'm going to run some actions. And I can choose Apply Remove Tag and then I'll just choose the tag that I want to apply for these people that will identify them as someone who has clicked that particular link. That might just be for activity tracking, it might be to trigger another sequence, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And then go ahead and click Done and that will process all those people and tag them with the appropriate tag. If you've made this mistake in a campaign email, of course what you'll want to do before going through all these steps is go fix that campaign email and then republish it because republishing it will make it so that anyone who clicks on the future, even if you sent the email in the past, will get the tag. We just need to run all these operations for anyone who has clicked in the past. If you send it as a broadcast, unfortunately, what you'll need to do is run these actions and then if you need to run them again in the future because we're just grabbing them as one snapshot in time. All right, so hopefully this helps you with that particular problem in your business. If you've ever run into a situation where you forgot to apply a tag on a link, then this is how you fix it.